That's a long way down. They should have built that plane with three wings, and I'd still have two left over to fly. Like an Imperial shuttlecraft. Alright, hang on. Brace for impact. And I'm back. It's like Pac-Man. I have an extra life. Speaking of Pac-Man, when I say Pac-Man, you all know what I'm talking about because that's a cool game title. Pac-Man. Let's think of some other ones. Yar's Revenge. Space Fury. You probably don't know that one, but it's a cool title, nonetheless. Halo. Gears of War. Pit Fighter. Game titles that are easy to remember. It's like they went out of their way with this game to make sure that nobody could actually remember the game name. IL-2 Stermovic Birds of Prey. The IL-2 series is more well known on PCs. And this is on 360, PS3, and Nintendo DS. And for those consoles, I think it needed a more explosive title. It's a fun flight game. They should have just given it like a stereotypical World War II airplane name, like World War II Aces Pilots Hyper Alpha 7. At least you'd remember the World War II part and they'd point you in the general direction. But it's called IL-2 Stermovic Birds of Prey. Even, even the Xbox gets confused because when you put the game in it just says IL-2 Birds of Prey. They really could have just gone with Birds of Prey. Maybe an acronym, BOP. BOP, or Birds of Prey, is very similar to most other flight games, arcade-style flight games on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. I think they try for some more realism with the storyline and the cutscenes using World War II footage, which they do very well. That's actually some of the most interesting parts of the game. It's not a realistic flight simulator by any means, but they do try to place you into real World War II missions like the Battle of Britain. And right after that, you're fighting with the Russians in Stalingrad. You fly a variety of different World War II era aircraft, and it has very stereotypical arcade-style flight controls for the Xbox 360. Our cause is just. The enemy will be crushed. Victory will be ours. I say that to myself every time I play Yar's Revenge. For the most part, IL-2 Stermovic is very similar to most of the other flight games out there. It's a little bit rough around the edges compared to some of its bigger budget competitors like the Blazing Angels series and Hawks. Some of the targeting controls seem a bit kludgy and I don't like the enemy indicator icons and... I could nitpick the game a bit, but for the most part it's very playable, it is fun, it's a fairly sizable game, you get a lot of missions. And there's lots of enemy airplanes to shoot down and things to bomb, and that's what's really important. Blowing things up with airplanes. See, that would have been a better title for this game. You get three different camera perspectives. The cockpit view is what we're looking at here. About 50 missions that you can play over and over again. The usual complement of achievement points and online multiplayer. If you enjoy other arcade-style flight action, explodey airplane bombing thing games, then you may want to check out IL-2 Stermovic Birds of Prey. Maybe you just want to give it a rent and check it out for the weekend. It's not the greatest game out there, but it's far from the worst. You can always give it a rent and bomb people from the comfort of your own home. Another excellent flight game you may want to consider is Barnstorming. That's on the Atari 2600. It's slightly different than this game, but it does have airplanes. And barns. Otherwise, we could get Stalingrad, but take it a long time. 